Hi friends! In today's video we are gonna build a multi-purpose crossbow. Like you saw in the thumbnail, we will be able to shoot with this crossbow some steel darts, but the fun part of this crossbow build will be also that the crossbow should be able to shoot some beer cans or beer bottles. So I'm really looking for this project and I will be sure that it will be a fun project shooting some darts and beer bottles. And yes, let's start with the looking at the drawing board. <laughs> Friends, here we have the perfect drawings like an engineer of the crossbow. So I want to show you how, I, how which design I want to build. In the left hand corner we have the usually crossbow like everyone knows with the uh, um, bow arms but I want to build something different like you see here um, it's not the usual arms like the crossbows are having I want to build something with rubber so in the rex position you have the rubber relaxed uh, and in the cock position the rubber is pulling the bow arms back together and that should deliver the force to uh, fire out the arrow so i will um, use some rubber band uh, like a bike tube for that and yes let's start with the build i want to give the crossbow a nice really uh, like rusted old uh, look and yes that needs some beer and some paint so i'll try to uh, rub uh, the paint off a little bit to uh, um, get this old look and i noticed it's that my hands are getting pretty dirty quickly so i use this styrofoam instead and then we come to the grinding but i don't like doing that so i got my sister to do that <laughs> The paint word was uh, really satisfying, rubbing all the paint uh, on that and it reminds me uh, of the kindergarten <laughs> with all the paint and the finger paint what we are doing and have all the paint in the face and <laughs> everywhere on <laughs> each clothes and the mom gets really angry <laughs> so uh, it gets me a little fresh flashback here. Here we have the general overview of the crossbow. So we have the red stock and all of the mechanics in different colors here. So friends, after letting the parts partially dry, <laughs> so my hands look like a painting now, I want to explain you how all of the things work. So here, this one is the lever arm this side and it has this blade here with uh, pieces of wood attached so here comes the rubber and on the other side too and on this lever arm everything moves so if this one moves down to cock the weapon the rubber gets stretched and when shot it moves back here and the string is attached on this part back here with uh, this little roll so it can move if the lever arm goes back it can move freely around this roll and when shot gets back so now we have everything uh, to screw together and yeah let's start When you are as stupid as me <laughs> and don't look how much uh, the screws go into the wood, you have to flex them out <laughs> afterwards. So yeah, don't be an idiot and look that the screws don't go all the way through and you don't poke your fingers while holding uh, your building. Yeah, so now we are safe again. <laughs>
the top part of the crossbow is finished. Now we need to attach it to this dog. <laughs> Friends, here we have the trigger mechanism of the crossbow. It gave me some sleepless nights, but I could figure it out how it works the best, holding all the force. So to make it a good working mechanism, I uh, want to optimize it with some rubber here. So uh, the it's like spring loaded and always gets the trigger back when uh, it's not ready to fire. So part two of the crossbow is now finished. So we have the stock and I think it looks really good with the red paint and I like the, the kind of old look it has. And I'm also very happy with the trigger mechanism. I think that works perfectly and I hope it works as good uh, right here um, with, with everything attached. So the next step we are going to do is attach the lever amps to the stock and yeah, I'm happy to test for it. Friends, we are now ready to start a little test after attaching everything together. It's looking strong and I'm pretty sure that it will hold up the strength. The good thing is about this crossbow that you can add as much rubber as you want. Uh, so you can increase the power or make it a little bit weaker. So we have the first test here. Um, yeah, with some screwdrivers holding the string and the rollers are attached also on the they will be between these arms then after so let's have a look if it works okay the crossbow is cocked and I pull the trigger yeah it works so yeah, it's a nice thing that everything works and I'm happy that it holds up. And yes, so now we start putting everything together in a strong way. Here comes the, the interesting part uh, with the rubber. So I'll put all the rubber I have on there, go full throttle and hope that I can uh, make the bow work with my uh, strength. I use some rubber here from uh, some exercise equipment uh, found pretty cheap on the internet. I used it with bike rubber before um, of video, but the bike uh, tire rubber did not work very well. It has not much strength and was not um, easy to stretch. So, yes, uh, <laughs> this is all the rubber I had uh, at the uh, one piece. I have some piece laying around and will then um, take on the bow additionally after it. But right now it got pretty heavy to tie. <laughs> but instead of going back to uh, less rubber, I will install more rubber, all I have, and I uh, 
figured out this technique which allows me to get some rubber with the steel blades on it also and I have some pure brand black on that also too and <laughs> the funny thing is that I can stand fully on this uh, bow without even getting the bow arms uh, away so I am around 90 kilograms and that's pretty heavy so this crossbow seems <laughs> Nina. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so this crossbow seems really strong. I can jump on it with my whole weight. So now we are measuring the, the draw weight we can put on it. So <laughs> my sister uh, tries to hang on the crossbow and now then we can measure how much force it needs. <laughs> it requires to, to cock it. Okay, then we start. Kannst du dich ganz dran hängen? Bitte auf den Boden. Hey, zieh dich hoch, mach dein ganzes Gewicht dran. Okay. <lacht> oh man, that was so funny. <lacht> We kept laughing uh, right along. But to come to the engineering purpose of the video. Um, Uh, we, we figured out that the crossbow has around of 150 lips of force so that's quite a good amount and I'm concentrating uh, now some uh, arrows for the crossbow here with the steel tip Man, that was hell of a shot here. The arrow, arrow puts itself deeply in the wood and it was not possible to put it out without laying the, the wood down. And we are not wasting any food here, so let's eat the banana quickly. And we'll have some additional test shots with a clock. And this was no problem for the arrow at all. So we get something harder like uh, old toaster here. And like you see, the arrow shot itself deeply through the toaster and went uh, through three of out of the four aluminum plates inside. And then we test the thicker aluminum plate here and see that the arrow had no problem at all going through that piece of aluminum too. So that's uh, quite of some power here. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And you, I hope you had as much fun as I had filming these videos and operating the crossbow. Please keep aware that this crossbow is a dangerous weapon uh, to rebuild and to operate. I had some injuries on my hand and I was bleeding at uh, different look, places at my body too because of the hard string and uh, the, the edges. So don't rebuild it if you don't have the right safety equipment. So saying that at the end, like a parent, <laughs> I hope you have a nice day. And if you're interested in more videos, um, I've built a little pocket ride, pocket bike, and also an operating V8 engine. So stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.